back in the Adirondacks. Wanted to try and get one more hike in. I have one window of opportunity. Tomorrow is supposed to be clear, no precipitation. The high is 31 degrees down here. This is my campsite. Closer to 26 or so up on top of the mountains, but we know how the weather can go up here in the Adirondacks. The forecast is more of a suggestion of what it could be rather than what it actually will be. We just went through daylight savings time, so between the weather, how cold it is, and the very, very short amount of daylight we have now, uh, that's why I decided to uh, drove up today. Got a room, just gonna relax and uh, get up early, try and get to the trailhead early, and hopefully be able to complete the hike this time. Got my stuff laid out, ready to go. Enjoying a little Saranac orange cream. I'll fill you in a little bit tomorrow, once we're at the trailhead, what the plan is. Good morning. Beautiful, but it's cold. I'm trying to figure out my game plan. 7.30, two hours past when I planned on starting. Really uh, wasn't feeling too good this morning when I woke up. And I'm still not, but uh, I guess that's the catch of this one. It has been a roller coaster of a ride the last six months. And, uh, supposed to be kind of a, a healing trip. One more last two raw before the winter. Oh, the hike I picked out, probably not a great idea if I'm not feeling too good to uh, attempt. Beautiful. Just don't know if I have it in me. Well, I'm going to figure something out. After all, uh, the point of this isn't to go crush out a high peak it's just to do something let's see what we can find all right new plan same parking lot from where I would have started the other hike but we're going to do something a lot easier and a lot less mileage. One I had on my radar to take Logan on a couple years ago, and we just never end up doing it. It's Mount Joe, but I've never been up there, and it's only, I think, four or a little under four miles versus the 13 that I had planned. Um, <clears throat> I think it'll be nice. I think we even get to see uh, Heart Lake. But uh, let me get my stuff on and we'll get at it. Starts off easy enough. It is very cold. I think we've made it up to uh, 21 degrees now. So. The ability to move fast is probably going to be uh, quite useful. That way. Heart Lake Loop. We want to go that way, but we're only a few feet from the lake, so let's uh. Check that out. Up 
Brisk Lake Breeze. This is Heart Lake. So, I wasn't planning on doing this, so I'm trying to uh, get my bearings here. Um, it should be pretty straightforward. I think there's a, a new trail that's newer constructed part and then the old trail which is slightly steeper um, and they both kind of loop back in just below the summit so figure out which way you want to go up which way you want to come down all right so we're there I think maybe we'll go up the old trail and come down the new one. Sound like a plan? Well, definitely gotta watch out for the ice. I do have my micro spikes with me, which if it keeps getting any worse, I'll probably put them on. Other than the cold temperatures and the ice. One of the advantages of doing hikes in the winter time, well, it's not winter yet, but once the leaves are falling, so far the whole way up I get to stare off at the uh, eastern high peaks. Which is a view you probably wouldn't normally have. So that's a bonus. Okay, short trail. Long trail. Translation. Short trail, steeper. Long trail, probably a lot more chill. I always would rather climb than uh, descend on steep stuff, and especially with the ice. I think we're going to take the short trail and come back on the long trail. Let's do it. Can only assume that that's Mount Joe up there. Ah, might be a little climbing involved. stop but I'm starting to heat up a little bit. I always make the mistake of keeping the hag on way too long and it ends up wet. I've already passed that point so looks like I'm about halfway there but very peaceful. I haven't seen a soul. Now remember took the short route up, so I'm sure the other way is uh, not the scrambling rocky. So it's still a hike for everybody. Oh, 
Oh yeah. There's your little dose of Adirondacks. It doesn't last that long, I don't think. So far this trail is pretty awesome and we haven't even got to the uh, best part yet. I'm a little out of breath because uh, I don't realize how fast I'm going here. I'm kind of cranking through it so I should probably uh, slow down and smell the roses. The frozen icy snowy roses. Well, they both look like a trail. We'll go this way. What an awesome trail. I love it up here. I'm glad I did this. Here's the other trail. Lodge via the long trail. So we'll return that way and summit. Look at that. We get some laggers in today. A little bit slick. <sighs> Whew. Oh yeah. Here we are. Some of Mount Joe. That's cool, we get to see where we started. 
There's the hungry hiker. Right down there. Heart Lake. Down there. And I get to see Wugga Wugga been hiking. I was gonna do Right Peak and Algonquin, which Right Peak's right there and Algonquin's up in the clouds. I wouldn't have been there yet, but uh, it's not exactly an easy hike and uh, it would have been a bummer if these clouds didn't lift by the time I got there. So I'll take this. And it was minimal effort. I don't even know what time it is. It's like nine o'clock. Um, so I have to look at the GPS to see exactly what time I'm gonna say an hour. Not bad. I haven't eaten yet. I had a really small, horrible cup of motel coffee. So I think I'm going to take this pack off, put some clothes on and uh, make some breakfast and a coffee and just enjoy this. Not too bad. Just so happy that uh, this ended up working out. This is a pretty cool spot. Breakfast and coffee have been had. I've soaked in this view for probably about 45 minutes now. The sun keeps changing through the clouds and it's just... Good choice, excellent choice. But I think we're gonna head down and we'll check out that other trail on the way down, the new trail. If I can tear myself away from these views. Away we go. The sun hitting everything is getting a little bit slick. I'm just being careful. 
Don't want to ruin a perfect day now. I don't think I've ever had a peak to myself here in the Eastern High Peaks and never seen only my own footprints coming back down. find that other trail. Short trail? Long trail. Taking the long way home. Well, he did say it's a brand new trail, so... This is an awesome little trail. So, uh, I think that's the way to do it. Take that short trail up, and you have a nice cruisy woods trail. Looks like all the way back. First print. Nice job, guys. This is awesome. Get around a little patch of ice here. Wow, what a route. They definitely know what they're doing. I think I see the lake through the trees. Which means we're probably almost back. What an awesome trail. I recommend this to anybody. Let's say you've never hiked in the high peaks at all. You want a little introduction to it? This is perfect. This has a little bit of everything. 
but not too much. Great trail. And just like that, we are back to the split. Short trail up, long trail back. Now we head back to the logs and the parking lot and the truck. Turned out to be a pretty good day after all. Not very full parking lot. Don't see that too often. Mount Show. <laughs> Never did that one before. That was an awesome little hike. I'm gonna say it was probably, I don't know, three and a half miles off to check. Great little hike. We're gonna go uh, take it the long way home. I got some campsites I want to check out in the central Adirondacks. Um, so, I don't know, it's probably about an hour drive till then. Maybe we'll find a diner and get some food. But, uh, till then, peace out, Trevor. New coffee. That'll tie me over till I can make it to a Dunkin'.